Kinsey, how's the information you got on the Deckers coming? It's compiling. So what's next? Not talking over the phone now. Too many people could be listening. Okay. Smiling Jax. Go there. Okay. Buys a car. You know who you're fucking with? You should be more careful. I saw you coming two blocks ago. Traffic cameras. They're everywhere in this town. Good to know. I'm serious. You should toss out your fancy overpriced phone. I can find you through that, too. Yeah, look, I feel kind of weird having a conversation like this. Totally agree. We should be using, like, that Navajo code dialect. Come up for air. I took care of the Deckers. Sure. Let down your guard and suddenly they make it look like you're selling secrets to Mossad and moonlighting as a dominatrix. You've created a big enough disruption for you to move on, Matt Miller. But if you want the Deckers gone, like really gone, there's a lot of work to do. All right. I'll hit you up if I need more help. Remember, throw out your phone! How you doing, honey? That's right! Who buys a car? Kenzie, you found anything out about the Deckers? I know a lot about the Deckers. Well, I know that, but I mean anything we can use. Tons. You shouldn't worry about that now. Okay, then what should I... Is Shandy with you? No. Why do you want to know? What's going on? I'll call her then. Meet me at Smiling Jack's Diner. There's something you need to see. What's up? You need to see this. Fortunately, this exclusive footage has come to light. And with us live, the man responsible, Eddie Kilbane Pryor. Thanks for being here, Eddie. My pleasure, Jane. And please, call me Kilbane. Very well. Kilbane, there are some who claim you're a criminal. No, no. Jane, my dear, please. The saints are criminals. Call me eccentric, but I'm just an entertainer slash businessman slash philanthropist slash... We get it. Where are they? No idea. They're broadcasting from an undisclosed location. Well, fucking disclose it! I might be able to triangulate where they're shooting if you go to the broadcast towers and... We're on it. Out of my car! Call in the favor to get a helicopter. Use it. I'll explain when you're airborne. That asshole's gonna trash the Saints on air. He already is. I'm sitting with a man the wrestling community has called the Walking Apocalypse. Is such a moniker intended to frighten your fans as well as your foes? Not at all. Ooh, it's it's the blood pumping to, to my, my loins. Oh! To rise above the meager existence of Fuck a him. Man. This guy's got a bigger ego than me. Those that don't share that opinion. 
Some may call that praying on the weak. It's the ones who see each person as nothing more We're here, Kinsey. What next? I sent you coordinates to several radio towers. Head to the first one and let me know when you've landed. Before the break, you mentioned the kids you've helped. Ah, yes. Kilbane's Crunch Camp. <laughs> It's a two-month summer program that gets kids off the streets and into the ring. There's been some concern from parent groups. Well, that's because parents are pussies. Maybe they should focus on a real threat, like the Third Street Saints. Strong words. Kids fall down and get hit with steel chairs all the time. I'm just providing a safe <laughs> environment for this to happen. Meanwhile, parents are buying their kids lunchboxes with convicted... There's Deckers up here. They probably use these antennas for the Decker you sent. Not surprising they need guards. Thanks for the heads up. Use the transmitter I left under the seat. Place one next to the radio antenna, then head to the next tower. How many gadgets you think Kenzie's got all over this city by now? Who cares, as long as she isn't bugging my bedroom. She wouldn't spy on her own people like that. You sure about that? Remind me to have my room checked when we get back. You lost to the best. Nice try, but you'll fail. Huh? You're making a horrible mistake. I'm gonna come out on top. Give me a second to place this thing. over your match against your former partner, Angel de la Muerte. <laughs> People keep talking about a controversy when there isn't any. There can only be one legend. We fought, he lost, I won. If Angel de la Muerte was to come out of hiding, would you face him in a rematch? Without his mask, he's nothing. Less than nothing. The dirt under my boots gets more respect from me. To consider a rematch would mean admitting he's still worthy of my time. Let's hope he's not out there listening in. But to everyone else, we'll have more with Kilbane in just a moment. So where'd you get these transmitters anyway, Kenzie? It's safer you don't know. What does that even mean? Well, probably means that it's safer if you don't know. Look, they work, that's all that matters. What are we gonna do about that video the press has? Our PR department can take care of that, right? People think we blew up a landmark. I don't think it's that easy. Then what the hell do we pay him for? Covering up the bullshit. Since when do we do small shit? But you'll fail. All right, hooking this thing up. There, got it. Sending the coordinates of the van. Van? A broadcasting van. It's where the signal is being sent from. They're inside it? No. Use the laser signal tracker to help me find the broadcast location. The what? The light on the helicopter. Shine it on the van. <laughs> I always win. <laughs> 